welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle content, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff. And I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So today I wanted to bring you guys in on another vlog, kind of a day in the life, full day of eating, what I eat in a day, because I put up a video like this a few weeks back and it got a really great response. I think everybody really just likes seeing kind of what it's like um, on program with Optavia. If you're new here, I am actively on my Optavia 5-in-1 program. The quick version of that is I'm basically eating five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day every two to three hours so that I can achieve optimal health and I can get to my weight loss goals. So I wanted to bring you guys in on another day in the life. Please excuse, I am very fresh faced right now. I just woke up a little bit ago. It's about 8.30 a.m. right now and I'm having my first fueling right now and I wanted to kind of just bring you guys in on another day in my life of eating and also just kind of what to expect if you are on program with Optavia. I know when I was first looking into Optavia and when I was first thinking about getting on a program like this, these videos were super helpful. <laughs> also, I have such a frog voice right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is my morning voice. But I just wanted to bring you guys in on another day in the life and kind of show you guys what this looks like because this was really helpful for me when I was first starting my program. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> Okay, so you'll have to get over my hair being whatever's happening. Um, I went to bed with a wet head. Kids, don't do that. That is such a bad idea. I just honestly was lazy. It was like, it was like one in the morning last night when I went to bed and I was just like, I can't, I just can't do, I just can't do it. So did not dry my hair last night, but I did kind of flash dry it this morning and it's like, has a mind of its own. Anyway, I'm up eating my first fueling now. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a fun update as well today. So I have officially been on my program for one month. So I'm sure everybody is interested in kind of my progress, my weight loss results, all of that fun stuff. I think I'm probably gonna film a full video on this just so that anybody who is looking to get on program can kind of see what to expect and all of that fun stuff. But my starting weight on my program was 248.8, not proud of that. <laughs> However, today when I weighed myself, I was 228.2. I have to do the math on that. <laughs> Okay, so 20.6 pounds that are lost so far in my first month. And honestly, I'm really proud of that number. There were definitely a couple slip ups. There were a couple times where things got rough. I'll get into details in the full video. Um, just kind of unexpe unexpected life things that came up where it was very hard to stay on program, but I still did it to the best of my ability and was able to lose about 20 pounds. So very excited with that progress. I'm very excited to keep moving forward. I still have a lot of weight that I wanna lose. My goal weight is to get down to about 150 or so. So we've got some work to do, but I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on kind of where I'm at with my weight loss journey so that you guys can kind of see what to expect and also follow along if you are on your own weight loss journey as well and use this as a little bit of motivation. So we are in this together and I'm just going to basically eat my first fueling of the day and keep tracking along. So for my first fueling, I'm having the red berry crunchy O's in a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. These specifically I really hated these at the beginning of my program. I thought they were really gross. I thought they tasted like medicine. But honestly, as your palates change throughout your program and as you are having fuelings every single day, you actually get used to it. And these are now some of my favorite cereal that they offer. So all I would say on these is if you didn't like the Red Berry O's at the very beginning of your program and you thought they were really gross, give them another shot. Honestly, try them one more time and see how you like them because your palates probably have changed and you don't even know it. And then I'm also drinking my Body Bloom. This is just my probiotic drink in the morning that just kind of gets everything flowing. So I I really like having this in the mornings just kind of first thing and then I'm just gonna eat my fueling and we're gonna get ready for the day. just finished with breakfast but I am also going to fill up my Yeti water bottle just because I want to be able to sip on that throughout the day and make sure I get all of my water in so I will show you the cup that I use so I use a big Yeti cup I think this is called a rambler I'm not entirely sure but it basically is like the biggest one they have I think and it keeps my water cold I just put a little bit of ice in here and it should keep it cold all throughout the day I'm just gonna fill it up with water I believe this is about 30 ounces that it holds so I'll 
drink a little over two of these throughout the day just so that I can make sure I get all of my water in. Okay, so I just headed up to my office. I'm gonna sip on my water and then also dive into my life book a little bit. This is the life book and then also the Dr. A's Habits of Health book. These come with your program when you're on Optivia. I actually decided to restart my life book because a few of my clients wanted to do theirs and then I had some other girls that I connected with on social media that said that they just still hadn't even touched their book and the book is so crucial. Like the book is literally the reason why this program is different from all of the other programs out there because so many other programs you can lose weight like you'll lose weight on probably any program that you try the problem is keeping it off and learning how to integrate real mindset techniques that can really keep you on track and keep you living a healthy lifestyle instead of just a healthy phase of your life and then gaining everything back so this really keeps you on track I'm actually starting element two today I am restarting with some of my girls we've got a text thread going around where we text each other every morning a picture of the page that we stopped on and we read for five minutes and just basically also set our mindset for the day so that it kind of puts you in the good frame of mind and puts you in the mindset of like I'm gonna stay on track and I'm gonna make sure I keep all of my decisions healthy today so I'm gonna read element two I don't know if I'm gonna get fully through it but I'm gonna read as much of this as I can today and then text my girls and see how they're doing about 11 a.m. and I'm gonna have my second fueling. I just made the silky peanut butter shake. I think these shakes are the best ones that they have. So I'm gonna have this shake and then we're also brewing coffee right now because <laughs> I kinda need some coffee. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have my shake and some coffee and then I'm gonna go get ready because I've got a bunch of filming to get done today. So let's go. Also, all of the fall is happening on my table right now because I'm filming a fall home decor video today, so like literally everything. Okay, in my coffee, I just do normal like black coffee. We really like the Whole Foods Allegro brand. So I just do coffee up to there. I add in a little bit of regular half and half just because I can't do almond milk in my coffee. I just have to have the regular stuff. So I count this as my healthy fat for the day. And then I do one Truvia and mix it up and good to go. Delicious. Bam! I just got ready. <laughs> No more no makeup chili for today. I have too much stuff to do, too much stuff to film, so I got semi ready. And at least you guys get to see me with some makeup on this vlog, because <laughs> all my other vlogs don't have any makeup on. So anyway, I have Zach here. Hey. So we are, what time is it, like one? Okay, so I had my last feeling at 11. It's about one o'clock now. We just stepped outside, and I wanted to show you guys something that came my way this week. I think it was this week. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Sea Snacks, but Sea Snacks is a brand that basically makes seaweed snacks. And I know seaweed sounds kind of gross, but honestly, it's kind of addicting. And that's why their catchphrase, I think, is strangely addictive. Because it's like hardly any calories. And if you're on your Optivia 5-in-1 program, it's actually really nice to have as like an optional snack if you really, really need something. Because it's got hardly anything in it, and it's actually decently good for you. So, so I posted on my Instagram that I really like sea snacks and that I use them as optional snacks here and there and they actually reached out to me and decided to send me pretty much every sea snack they have in their line so that we could try it out. So in here is everything they sent us. They sent us this chipotle kind and these are just like little seaweed seaweed strips. They sent us the original sea salt kind. These are good too. I have not tried the chipotle. I've also not tried this lime kind but this looks really good. I told them my favorite kind was the onion flavor so they sent me six of those. More of the lime, salt, and chipotle and then they also they also have these like wraps so basically what happens is these are like big sheets of the seaweed that you can use to like put veggies and turkey and like deli meat and things in so you can basically make like a wrap out of this they've got wasabi flavor of the wraps 
There's the Chipotle version, and then sea salt of their original, and then onion as well. So when I initially got this package in the mail, I showed it on my Instagram because I was so blown away, and I was like, I am so excited to try all of these. But I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see us do a taste test of them, just because I have only ever tried the onion and the regular, and I haven't tried all of the other flavors that they have, and I want to kind of find my favorite. Zach hasn't really tried all of them either. I figured Zach and I could do a taste test for you guys just to show you which ones are our favorite. And then if you guys do end up liking these and want to try them for yourself, I do also have a discount code that you guys can try. I'll leave it in the description box below as well as put it on the screen here so that you guys can place your order and get a discount on your first time trying them because if you want an optional snack on your program, that's just hardly anything and it's just kind of to save you throughout the day. These are perfect and I really just want to find my favorite flavor because they have so many that I haven't tried yet. So, you ready? Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna do it. Okay, I've got all the snacks out of the box. I don't know if we're necessarily gonna try the wraps today just because they're the same flavor, but I don't wanna necessarily make a wrap today. I'll try that um, in another vlog. I do wanna try their other different flavors of just the little sheets. We've got everything laid out. Zach and I are gonna try them and tell you guys which are our favorite. Okay, so which one do we wanna try first? I really like the onion kind. These are my favorite. Have you tried these yet? No, I've only tried the Chipotle. Okay, and okay. let's do onion first because these are my favorite and I want you to at least try them. These are the ones that I always go for. Uh, you can also, you can find these on their website. I think you can also get them on Amazon, but the place that I pick them up if I ever just like need them really quick is Whole Foods. They have them at Whole Foods in the big sheets and then also the smaller sheets. And they come in little packs like this. You just pull them out and they're like little sheets of seaweed like this. Careful, they're probably gonna get in my teeth. Nobody is allowed to make fun of me if I have seaweed in my teeth. I will. <laughs> okay, so, ready? Sure. This is the onion. Wait, I wanna cheers you. <laughs> cheers. Okay. Oh, I miss these. These are good. Those are pretty good. They don't have too strong of a flavor. It's easy to eat. I want another one. These are good. Oh. You better be careful, they're like two calories each. <laughs> This is so, it's probably getting all in my lip gloss. Oh my God. It also kind of gets everywhere, but still delicious. For a full pack, which I think is like 15 little sheets, it's 15 calories. Like literally like nothing in it. <laughs> yeah, like nothing. Okay, I really like the onion. Those are my favorite, but I haven't tried the other ones. So we'll see. Okay, which one are we doing next? I was gonna say Chipotle, but now I realize that the lime is bigger than every other package. So I'm confused. Okay, Should do we wanna one, try? Okay, okay. Because this one's hot. So I'm curious to see how you handle it. Wait. Okay, so this is the Chipotle. We're gonna try the Chipotle version. I have not tried this. Zach has tried it. Zach can pretty much handle anything as spicy as it could possibly ever be. <laughs> All the spice. He's weird, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna try the Chipotle because he says these are good, but they're kind of spicy. Yeah, I can never tell with you if you're gonna be able to handle it or not. <laughs> I don't know. I Sometimes go back you'll be like, this is so spicy and I can't even taste it. Yeah, but then there are times where it's like decently spicy and I'm like a champ. Okay. Oh, do I have something on my... It's like lodged in your lipstick on the lip. Where? The you have to get it! It's like in your lipstick. It's a part of your lip now. What? Where is it? You almost got oh, it. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Chipotle is my life. Oh my God, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Cheers. Oh, this kind of smells hot. Thought we could do this now so that way you could be in pain for the rest of the video. Yeah, that was kind of spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat those ones. I mean, it was good. It definitely tasted like Chipotle. All right, yeah, you can have those. Those are kind of spicy. They're good if you like spicy. We should do okay. a video of me taking you to a Thai food. No, we should not, because I would die. Okay, so the next ones we're gonna try are the original. I think these are just like olive oil and sea salt. These are really good too. If you compare these to chips, they're just like regular kind of potato chips, even though they're not potato. Okay, cheers. I don't know, they're good. They taste the closest, or the onion tastes the closest to these. The mm -hmm. onion doesn't have a super strong flavor and this is just seaweed. I like the onion. Onion is still my favorite. Okay, and then, these are the last ones we're gonna try. The lime, these look really good. I think they're a little larger of sheets, so they're gonna be a little bit more calories, but you could just eat half the pack and still have only 15 calories if you wanted to do that. It's up to you guys. Ooh, these smell like the, like the lime. Those tortilla chips? Like the lime tortilla chips. You know how they've got like the 
lime seasoning on it. Oh my god, they smell really good. Oh, look at that. So they're not larger sheets, they're just more of them. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, these smell really good. We have not, neither of us have tried these ones. Mm. These smell really good. That's pretty awesome. Wow, that is a lot of lime. It just tastes like a lime. Honestly, in a good way. I like it because it tastes like those chips. <laughs> like, who doesn't like the chips that are like a hint of lime? Mm. I really like those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, you want more? These win. These are. I don't know. These have definitely a stronger flavor than the onion. I liked the onion before because it was like, like kind of garlicky. Lime chipotle winners. That was bomb. I really like the lime ones. Okay, so rank one through four. One being favorite, four being least favorite. Lime or chipotle is better. Uh, lime. That was bomb. Okay, Zach says one lime, two chipotle, three onion, four s regular original. It's chipotle in last place for you. Chipotle will be in last place for me, but not for everybody. I'm sure other people would like Chipotle. Okay, I think I also like the lime. The lime is probably my new favorite. It's just so much stronger of a flavor, and it also just super gives me, like, deja vu to those chips that have the hint of lime. So, lime one. I'll do onion as number two. I will do the original as number three. And then Chipotle as number four, because these are a little too spicy for me. But I really like those. Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on this little taste test portion of today's vlog. Um, I just wanted to show you guys all of the flavors since they sent me all of them and I am just so grateful for Sea Snacks for to be able to work with me on this because I love being able to bring you guys more fun and affordable snacks that you can have on your Optivia 5-in-1 program if you really just need something extra. Definitely go check out the lime ones. I think the lime ones are my absolute favorite. Second will be onion if you want to try something else out. Go use this code so that you guys can get some money off of your first order. I'll leave a link in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and click that link and go to their site. I really love these. I'm definitely going to incorporate these more throughout my program and then I'll let you know if I find any other of my favorites that I try. Also, I'll let you know how the wraps go once we start making wraps out of the big sheets of seaweed. So, I think that was a success, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go eat our seaweed. Okay, so it's about 1.30. I'm going to have my third fueling. I'm going to do the drizzled chocolate fudge crisp bar. These are really good. And then I finished my first Yeti of water, so I'm going to fill it up with what will be another 30 ounces of water. So I am going to be, after that, 60 ounces. Just need four more to hit 64. Okay, guys. It has already been quite a long day of filming. Oh my gosh. It's about 3.30 p.m. and I'm gonna have my fourth fueling. Yeah, four. So I have actually been filming some recipe videos today, so I'm gonna eat the fueling that I actually just made for my recipe, but I'll show you guys what it is. This is the decadent chocolate brownie waffled. So everybody who has the decadent chocolate brownie with Greek yogurt chips, this is the waffled version of it and it is amazing. Basically tastes like the corner edge of the brownie pan because it's like crispy on the outside but like mushy and gooey on the inside with a little bit of whipped cream right on top. So this is gonna be my fourth fueling and it's gonna be delicious. Stay tuned, there will be a hack video coming. I'm not sure if it's before or after this video, who knows, but you will see a hack video for the waffled decadent brownie. the biggest meal of the day because I'm starving. It is 5.30 p.m. so we're gonna have our lean and green. I just cooked up some veggies and chicken. I'll show you what I'm having. Not super exciting today but I still wanted to show you guys so. We've got about two-ish three servings of veggies here with broccoli and then I had some pre-grilled chicken that I just threw in the pan as well to saute with it 
and then a few tomatoes on the side. So yeah, this is gonna be my lean and green meal tonight. And I am just about done with my water here. So I'm probably gonna fill it up for a third time, which will be well over my 64 ounces, but you know, more the better, right? Sounds good to me. Okay, fueling number five. Okay guys, so I don't know if you have tried this fueling hack before, but this is actually the garlic smashed potatoes. And I made them into kind of like flatbread or almost like a bagel consistency. Peel this up and then they look just like this. It's like bread. So these little flatbreads, I'm gonna have as my last fueling for today, fueling number five, it's about 8.30 p.m. I'm gonna spread on one of these creamy garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedges. But yeah, this was just made from the roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes, and I actually have a full hack video coming on this whole recipe so you guys can try it out. Okay guys, I'm gonna have my last fueling of the night. I'll be honest with you, this was a long day. <laughs> I'm actually extremely tired, and I just honestly had a lot to get done today but I actually feel very accomplished because I got most of it done so anyway thanks for following along with me I don't really know how this vlog's gonna turn out um, but thank you so much for sticking around and watching my what I eat in a day on my Optavia 5 in 1 program I've heard from a lot of you that you really like these kinds of videos just because you want to be able to see what other people on Optavia eat during the day and I'm happy to film it I mean obviously I'm doing this for the long haul I've already lost a decent amount of weight and I'm gonna keep going and so I've got plenty more videos I can film for you guys but if you do like this type of style video or if you like the full day of eating on Optavia I'm happy to do more of those please comment down below if you like this kind of video and any other video suggestions that you'd like to see on my channel also if you like the video please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload thank you so much for everybody's support on this health journey I know it's been some ups and some downs but I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody being on this journey with me so thank you Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.